Hello folks and welcome to yet another Legend Scale Transformer review. Today's victim is Transform Elements TEMM02 Mice Warriors. Not sure what's up with the plurality in the name there, but this is their version of the Maximal Rap Trap. Now I mentioned in the Black Arachne review that I'm not hugely familiar with Beast Wars. Uh, that was a wee bit before my time and I've only ever watched a few episodes of it. Uh, but that doesn't mean I can't appreciate the character designs. And this character design in particular is very faithful to his original show appearance. I think the choice of plastic colours and paint in particular uh, really does help emulate that CGI model appearance. Uh, you can sort of see the robot parts here are all done in metallic colours. We've got this coppery kind of plastic and then some gold, silver and bronze paint there. And then the rat parts are more matte colours. We've got this grey the light flesh tone and then some details like the claws, eyes and nose there in just matte black paint. There's also plenty of moulded in detail, especially on the robot parts. If I zoom in on the head here, you can even see his tiny little buck teeth moulded in there. Now by design, Rat Trap is a bit of a shell former, uh, as you can see from the kibble backpack here. Uh, it's not very compact. This kind of makes up the entire exterior of the rat mode. Uh, I can't really fault them for it though. Uh, it's technically part of the design and it doesn't flop about or anything, so I think they managed it decently. Now let's take a little look through his articulation. His head is on a ball joint, which has a lot of upward range, and that's something a lot of figures don't have. You know, I think that should kind of be standard, but maybe that's just me. Shoulders are on a hinge and a ball joint, which of course the backpack gets in the way of. And then the elbows are also on a ball joint. As with both of their other figures, no waist swivel. Hips are on ball joints with a lot of range, except where the backpack blocks it. Very tight thigh swivel and 90 degrees of bend at that knee hinge, ankle tilts with a lot of range, and then the feet hinge up a little bit and down so much so that you can turn the feet upside down. <laughs> now overall I think the articulation is a very slight improvement from their black arachnia figure, uh, these ankle joints being the main difference. Uh, but one thing that does annoy me is how easily this waist section comes untabbed. Uh, it's only held together by this one little tiny tab in here and uh, it tends to come undone when you're messing with them. The only accessory he comes with is this blaster which can split into two smaller pistols if that's how you want to display him. Now, whenever I first got him out of the box the handles wouldn't fit into uh, his hands and I thought I was going to have to sand down the handles to get them to fit but there's actually a bit of a trick to it that I discovered if you try and line them up at 90 degrees, as you'd expect, uh, they just won't go in no matter how hard you try. But if you angle them down a little, and then push, then they just fit right in. Uh, it will still be a bit of a tight connection, but they should be able to fit without any modifications that way. Time for some size comparisons. Here he is with some of the smaller Iron Factory bots. We've got Cliff Jumper and RC. There he is with his political pal Starscream from the IDW continuity and the uh, Iron Factory runabout as well because why not. There he is with the other Transform Element figures so far, uh, Black Rachnia and Scorponok. And we'll bring in some of the other Beast Wars legends we got here. There's Iron Factory, Optimal Optimus and Transmetal Megs. There he is with Kingdom Black Arachnia. Uh, now I don't have Kingdom Wrath Trap to compare him with. I do have another core class, there's Verda Break, so hopefully you can get a good idea of how they would scale next to each other. And as always, our little Lego Stormtrooper. To begin the transformation, we will first flip these pistols around, and then untab the main body. We then open up the chest, like so, and now we want to position this head by tilting it back and then moving it around on this hinge 
So it sits like this in this position here so that when you close up the chest it will completely cover the head like that. Now you want to move the waist section down rotate the thighs 180 degrees each and then flip the feet around then we'll rotate this piece so the legs now face upwards and then bend the knees up into the cavity left by the main body just like that now you want to remove the arms down and flip the shoulders back into the space above the feet. Then rotate the elbows and position the arms so that the little blasters sit in this space here on both sides. And you want them to be as close together as possible. Then you can flip this panel down just to cover those shoulder pieces. Fold the side panels down on their hinges on both sides and you can compress those hinges back up in once they've been folded down so that everything sits flush. Then the uh, final step is to flip this piece around with the tail on it and bend it until you can tab the tail into the back there. So here he is in his rat mode and it's very clean for a beast mode. The only visible robot parts are hidden underneath and uh, there are very few transformation seams thanks to that big old kibble backpack uh, although that does have the disadvantage of making him rather uh, unarticulated uh, you can bend the feet on those hinges there and if you want you can untab the tail if you want to make use of that hinge but the only real option you have with this is be for an upright sitting pose other than that He's really just a bit of a grey pebble with a feet and a tail. He has no fur texturing, unlike the Kingdom Rat Trap, which is in keeping with his show appearance. There's a bit of painted brown gradient there on his rear, uh, which makes him a little less plain. I will say the paint that Transform Element uses doesn't seem to be as durable as other companies. Either that or they just put it in places where it's going to wear down, like on the nose of mine there. You can kind of see there's been some paint wear, and I think that's probably been from all the times I've had to tap the waist back in. Uh, it's not a very convenient position, that really should have just been a, a black piece of plastic rather than paint. I suppose you could always touch it up yourself without too much effort, if that really bothered you. And then for some alt mood size comparisons, there he is with Scorponok and Black Arachne again. With Kingdom Black Arachne and Iron Factory Runabout. And the Lego Stormtrooper again. And that's about it for Transform Element Rat Trap. A fun little figure and definitely an improvement over their previous Black Arachnia figure. I think it's fair to say that this is the most show accurate Rat Trap figure there is so far. Uh, but it is considerably more expensive than Kingdom Rat Trap, which is its main competitor. Uh, so it's pretty much identical in terms of scale and it does look nicer, if I'm honest. Uh, so if you're in the market for a rat trap and you've got the budget for it, I'd say go for it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to comment any questions or suggestions you have. And make sure to check out the other reviews on the channel if you've enjoyed. Goodbye.